but we have the actual person right here, Hockey Hall of Famer, Luke Robitaille. If I had my stick on the ice there, you could say that was when I was playing. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you very much. This is uh, very, very, very humbling. I mean, it's uh, to have Mr. West here. I mean, it's like uh, you talk about winning, you know, we always hear like, uh, and what did the Lakers do all those years, you know? We always heard it was behind the scene, Jerry West, you know, what you pulled off. So thank you very much for coming. Mario, Mark, thank you so much for coming. You guys really appreciate it. Uh, I just want to go through a few thank yous. I know got to hurry because we got a big game to play tonight. But the uh, first people I want to thank is uh, Mr. and Mrs. Anschutz. Um, they've been incredible owners. They, uh, we came up with a plan. I remember Dean talked about a plan nine years ago. And uh, ever since then, they've been, they always say, stick to the plan. and. We could do whatever we want as long as we stick to the plan, and uh, you know it's been pretty incredible ride. But uh, you, it needs you need great owners to have that kind of success. To Dan Beckerman, uh, thank you very much for great, great words. Uh, you almost beside my wife, you almost made me cry. <laughs> and uh, you've been a great boss. It's been a lot of fun to work with you. But what's a lot of fun, I think, for all of us to see is your passion you have for the Kings. You are, we know, and I don't want to make anybody else jealous at AEG, but he is first and foremost a Kings fan, and that we appreciate it every day. Um, <clears throat> to Dean Lombardi, um, thank you. Thank you for making our franchise what it deserved to be. I mean, Wayne came here, and uh, it was an incredible boost, but what you've done and kind of showing us that you stick to the plan and you got us a bunch of guys that are warriors. They show character every day. You always talked about character. You, you wanted players to play to have the kings on their heart. And now we sit today and we have so many young men that take so much pride at being kings. And uh, thank you for those two Stanley Cups and hope we have many more to come. No pressure, but we hope we have many more to come. <laughs> to Lee Zeidman, who um, works here where every year he wants to make sure I say his name in his speech. I just say your name. <laughs> no, thank you very much. He runs Staples Center. He obviously got me a great piece of real estate right in the front. So thank you very much, my friend. It's very nice. <laughs> I appreciate your friendship every day. Love working with you. To all the people in the King's family that works behind the scene, our entire staff, I want to single out uh, Kelly Cheeseman, who I work with on daily. I know worked really hard on this, and Mike Altieri, too, worked really hard on this. Uh, thank you very much. My assistant, Kelly Sloan, who has to work behind the scene and then uh, takes a lot of my crap every day, so thanks a lot, you guys. And I want to thank the entire King staff because it is because of their dedication, their passion for our team, that we're able to do a lot of things that we're doing, like the outdoor game and so forth. So thank you, everyone, for all the work that you do. I know there's many here behind, so thank you very much. Um, to the Omarani family, thank you. This is awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, I will take a few pictures next to that one. Thank you. I won't bring my dog, though. I, I did. It was more of a joke. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> you know, Blakey being here and saying words, um, you know, you think of the game and you can't get a words or score goals. It's all about your teammates. I have many here. So great to see all you guys here, but I think I want to thank all the teammates I got to play with because we all know in hockey you can't have success without your teammates, and that's what makes our game so special. See, it's the friendships that we have, the brotherhood that we have. So thanks a lot to all the players I got the opportunity to play with. Um, to my mom and dad, my dad who's here and my mom who's not with us. I know my mom's going to make sure there's no pigeons that come on this thing. <laughs> so thank you so much. You know, like you guys drove me to practice. We didn't have a lot of money, but whatever hockey school I wanted to attend, anything I want. I always wanted to attend power skating school. Didn't work, though, for some reason. <laughs> but thank you so much for your support. My brother, Pierre, who's my best friend, who's always supported me so much. My little sister, Caroline, who's here, who was my goalie. It was my first goalie where I used to practice my shot. It got me to 
got me some confidence in being a great shooter. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Hit her once in the head, then just keep shooting. <laughs> To my two best friends, Ben Robert and Pat Brisson, who Pat, I, um, you know, he was my agent for many years. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you for being my therapist throughout my career, many nights. Um, obviously to Wayne, it's kind of funny, I was thinking about this and I was going back in 1979 when you started in the NHL and uh, I think I was 13 or 14, just to, I just want to slip that in, I'm a little younger than you. And, um, but I remember like, I just love the fact that you worked so hard. You were the superstar that worked the hardest, and uh, I just idolized you. I just, you know, I had your picture in my room, and it's pretty cool today that, you know, I know now that Kings fans, I have a statue next to you, and I know that Kings fans will come in, and you and I, were gonna salute every Kings fan that come to cheer our team on. So it's an honor to be with you here today, and I really, <laughs> truly incredible. To the current, uh, the current uh, Kings team, thank you guys so much. I know they're not here because they're, they're, I think they're probably stepping on the ice, but thanks you guys for the incredible ride you've given us, the character you've shown. The last four or five years have been magical. I know 30, 40 years from now, we will still talk about the series last year and what you guys have done. And I know there's many more great years to come. So thanks a lot, you guys, what you've done. And you made us all proud to be part of this great Kings family. To, uh, to you, the fans, thank you so much. I mean, I think when we came out that we're all kings, we really meant it. We really meant it, and I know my wife said it best. You're a part of everything that we do, and I cherish every day that you guys salute me, salute my family, and uh, thank you very much for your support throughout the years. There's nothing better than getting any third and fourth round and getting all the guys from back east that works for the NHL that used to never quite pay attention to us. And then they come in and go, wow, there's a lot of passion here. These guys love this team. There's no greater moment than to hear him say that to us. So thank you very much for your passion. <laughs> to my little guy, Jess, and Steven, who's not here, thank you so much, you boys, for First, being my friends, being great kids, and I am proud every day that just like me, you get to pursue your dream. And I know if you guys keep working hard on it, you're gonna have a great life. And uh, gosh, I just love you both. So thank you so much for giving me joy every day. And to my lovely wife, who sat in the back of the car because she said she had to write me a letter, totally lied to me, <laughs> kind of wrote this beautiful speech, thank you so much, and uh, woke her up this morning. I think I changed my speech about five different times with her, and uh, she's the backbone of everything I do. She's my best friend, and um, thank you so much for your support throughout the years and your support now, even though sometimes you can't believe how many hours I work, but uh, God, you're my best friend, and I love every minute I get to spend with you. Uh. So finally, a lot of people have asked me in, um, in the last few weeks, you know, what does this statue mean to you? And it's like, we don't play for statues. We don't play to get in the Hall of Fame. We play because we love the game. You play to, just to win the next game and win the cup and so forth. So really, I had, to, I had to go back and think and had some time to reflect on it. And I think, you know, I was just a boy with a dream, just wanted to play a game. And many people said, well, this boy's too slow. He's not strong enough. You know, then, then I was a young man. I, that young man waited seven hours at the draft just to hear his name. And I was just hoping just to hear my name. That's all I was hoping for, just so my name could be on the list. And then once I made it, many NHL critics said, yeah, he's too slow. I think they said it my entire career. So I would hope that this statue symbolizes that if you put your heart and soul into something, dreams do come true. Thank you very much. Let's have a great game tonight. Let's win. Thank you, everyone, for everything. Let's hear it again for Luke Robitaille. Yeah,
speakers to come up to the stage to have some photographs. Mario, you too. What an incredible looking statue. And indeed, what real estate. Look at the color. Man, that thing really stands out. And anytime any Kings fan shows up, you're not going to be able to miss that thing 19 feet tall. I think we all saw how much Luke Robitaille means to the Los Angeles Kings, means to all of these fans. What an incredible connection. And as Rob Blake said, we are the lucky ones.